Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today what I want to do is show you guys how to turn yourself into a comic book look. Uh, this is one of my more successful uh, videos on TikTok, so I thought if there's a lot of people talking about it there, then maybe you guys want to see how I created it. So I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to successfully turn yourself into a comic book character today. So, let's go! I'm going to start by doing my makeup normally, um, but I'm going to try and make it a little bit heavier in some places and the eyeshadow is going to be a little bit brighter than what I would normally use. This is why we wash our brushes. Okay, so I'm not too worried about the blend here because we are going for a comic back light look and this honestly isn't gonna matter too much. This is fine. If you ever screw it up, sometimes I just, I just take the leftover foundation on my brush and I just, I just cover it up, I just hide it. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my eyeliner and I'm gonna do a little bit more of a dramatic wing. Do your wing how you like it, but don't forget, like it's gonna look a little bit more comet-like, so you probably wanna go a little bit further than what you normally do, if what you normally do is quite muted. When I do these comic looks, another thing that I really like to do is to draw on um, exaggerated bottom lower lashes as well. So I'm going to be adding three and you want to draw a little line and then connect it up with like a upside down moon, moon shape. So we're going to go flick it down and that's nice on its own, but it's not really quite thick enough. So then we want to thicken that like this back into the scent, back into the water line. Well, just below the water line. And then we're going to do another one. Carried away and added an extra line just to connect those two. Um, and basically we want to end up with quite an exaggerated wing. Like this. I like to go in with quite a bright lip colour. The reason why is because it's a comic book look and they tend to have bright colours going off everywhere. So I'm going to be using a green liquid lip. Now I'm going to go in with my white eyeliner pencil. This is the jumbo one from NYX and I'm going to go in and I'm going to add more of an extreme highlight. So where your natural highlights will be would be, we're adding those in there. And if you feel like you've done too much, you can always just So now I've got some extreme highlights going on. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna put the comic lines in. You can do this with an eyeliner. I'm using a NYX Jumbo eyeliner that kind of looks like a felt tip pen. Somebody has asked me on TikTok if this is a Sharpie before. <laughs> so when adding in comic lines, you, I think the key is to not do too many. Otherwise it doesn't start looking convincing. I like to do um, like one going down the side of my nose. And then, um, I when I do comic lines, I don't like to just do the line. I think it's more convincing if you also add in a uh, like a dot in certain places, just above the line, because it kind of looks a little bit more sketched out, and I personally prefer that. So I'm going to go in and put some lines across my face where I think they need to go, and then we're going to talk about the hairline. One of the things that's really gonna sell the comet light look is if we go through and we sort out our hairline. This, 
Oh my god. I tried to paint myself to look like a shark was eating me yesterday. My armpits are staying blue, so we're just going to ignore that for the fact that's not part of the look. That's just me. So what we're going to do is we're going to sort out our hairline. You can do this with your with your eyeliner. However, because I have a lot more body paint and I don't want to waste my eyeliner because I have a body paint to hand, I'm going to use the body paint. But if you don't have a body paint, then use the eyeliner. So the idea is we want our hairline to look a lot more squared. So we're just going to fill this in and follow our natural hairline. If you're wondering where you should stop with the chin when you're doing a comet like look, one of the best things to do is to make it look Oh, like a comet with comet light shading. Like that. I'm gonna add in some mascara and some eyelashes. To really sell this look, I'm gonna add in some comet lines, uh, the same with the highlights and the shadows on the neck and the chest. So I'll just zoom through that now. I'm also gonna put in my comet book lenses. I have some, if you don't have any, that's fine. It's just adds some more fun to this look for me. But overall, it's pretty straightforward. <laughs> And that's all I've got for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. If you have any more Halloween ideas, please leave them down in the comments below. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe as well because I've got some more videos coming up for you in the future and I can't wait to show you what I've got planned. You can also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and Twitch at mcroft07. I also have a website where I actually sell all of my prints and I actually sell original watercolor paintings as well. You can find me live on twitch.tv for just mcroft07 where I do live demos of the more challenging and the larger looks. If you ever want to ask me any questions, head over there. I am live at 7 p.m. BST on Tuesdays and Thursdays and from 1 p.m. BST on Saturdays. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much. Bye.